But no, I, I mean, I think we had a, a lot of, uh, of amazing stuff we got to cover. I mean, Jeff, can we twist your arm to do this again sooner rather than later? I think uh, the people would rejoice. Ow, 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 ow. Not that hard, not that hard, man. Just easy, <laughs> slight twist. No, slight yeah, I think twist. the next one, though, should be on systemic enzymes. Oh, I think you're bang on. Oh, well, hey, maybe we can end with then a teaser because uh, thank you, Melissa. We'll, uh, we'll consider this the final question um, just because I know we got um, some hard uh, stops that we got to get um, into. And just thank you for everybody for the questions and especially to you, Roland and Jeff. Regarding enzymes, why do you only stick with plant-based over having some that are animal-based? Uh, maybe just a little call out for the lumbrokinase, which um, we don't, we doesn't get the vegan status um, because it is from, from the earthworms, the, the English red worm, I believe it is. Um, so yeah, I'll let you guys each speak to that. And I think this serves as a great teaser to that, uh, to a follow-up, ask us anything where we really put the full focus on our enzymes. Well, um, the first thing I would say is pH. Um, animal enzymes have much narrower pH ranges where they work. When you get into plant-based enzymes, the pH range grows quite a bit. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's much easier if your pH is just a little bit out of whack to still get the, uh, the enzymes to work. Number two, you know, for, for people who do have the uh, uh, issues with eating you know, animal-based products, you know, it, just, it doesn't eliminate that particular group. You know, uh, will Let's just take lipase, for instance. You know, lipase from, um, from a pig pancreas versus lipase from, from a fermentation, uh, they're going to both break down fat. You know, um, the big difference you're going to see is, is how they're measured. Uh, if I recall correctly, 6,000 FIP units is equal to about 24,500 USP units. So you can't just look at, oh, the plant doesn't do as much as the, the other one does. No, they're measured in different units. So um, lipase is going to get broken down by either one. So to me, it doesn't matter so much where you are, other than the fact that you have a much greater pH range with uh, plant-based enzymes. I would just add to that the source quality of where we are able to get our stuff from is second to none because the you know, the, the gentleman who runs the Enzymology Research Center has made it his life's work to find the best of the best and, and, and the purest of the purest in the sense that he can do anything from top level to something more economically feasible for people. So uh, the reason we went with the, the route we did was because uh, it was originally his intended vision that was uh, adopted and promoted in terms of aligning with probiotics and enzymes to really focus on digestive wellness. And this rolls us right back to the very first question we had, right? Why your products are more expensive can, and they can, and, and, and if you, let's just take an natokinase. We've talked about that a little bit. That's Bacillus uh, natto grown on soy, right? There's only a few companies in the world that make a soy-free natokinase. You're going to pay more for that because it's not going to have any soy in it, right? Versus, you know, having an issue with soy, there's going to be some soy in the natokinase. So you're going to pay a little bit more for the, the best quality you can get. Uh, Czyme is another enzyme, one of the most expensive enzymes uh, out there. Right? And initially, you know, it was in, in Japan. It's from mucus degradation. Um, and uh, they brought it over here. A lot of companies had it. Well, it comes in as pure crystal. It doesn't come in as you know, with a carrier on it. And when it becomes aerosol, and people were you know, getting it in their lungs, and it was causing a problem. Right? So they had to pull it back. Well. Troy and his company were able to demonstrate that they could handle the property so they could bring it back in. Well, that's extra handling, extra, extra care that has to go into the product. And again, that's going to add a little bit of cost to the product. So yes, if you, you know, if you want the best, you know, it's going to cost a little bit more, but the real question is what's your health worth? You know, are you going to spend the least amount of money on your health or the best amount of money on your